guys, Drew here from the Village. Welcome back to another video, and today in this video, I will be teaching you how to make. I will be teaching you how to make an end portal. So I know some people in the new 1.9 snapshot or in 1.9 general, you're not able to make it. So what you're gonna do is normally you're gonna get your end portal in your eye vendor, and then choose the block you want to be your center block. Because you're gonna get five by five areas. So I have my five. Five. Yeah. So what you can do it is you don't need these corner bits. So yeah. So this is going to be the area that we are going to be using. We're going to stand in the exact center block of it, and then we're going to place each block. So we have these three, and these three, and these three. So we have to place them from the inside. And how you know that they're correct is this little, like, triangle-looking thingy has to be on the inside and outside. But you have to do it from the inside to actually make it work. It has to be on the inside for all of them. Then so what you're going to do is you're going to get your eye, eye vendor and just place them in the slots. It doesn't matter how you place them, you can place them like this. And then once you place your last one, your end portal will work and the, um, if, if you're in snow biome like I am, the stuff will start disappearing because Technically, this give, gives off a heat value. And then when you jump right in, you get right into the end. I'm just break my way out of here. And just put the ender drag it doesn't go on here. Let me just fill this in. And there you go. You have the ender dragon right here. It's your end first place. It's your end place. And now I'm going to show you how to get to the. I'm going to show you how to get to the the end city. Just if you don't know, what you're going to do is you're going to get your best weapons ever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get flame. Flame, I'm going to get fire aspect. Fire aspect two. I'm going to get um, power. And I'm going to get sharpness. I'm going to put all these down. I'm just going to go in and put the flame and power on it. And this is the fire aspect and sharpness. So now all we have to do is just kill the Ender Dragon. That's it. Let's kill the Ender Dragon. Set him down. This may take a while. First of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to shoot out all these. I'm pretty good. Archer, if I use it myself. Let's see fireballs in there. So this is not going to be an end dragon fight video. It's basically just going to be a video on how to get the city and how to get to the end. Just for the people that don't know. Okay, so let's start getting the fireball down. This it feels dead, so what's this? This bowl, like, really feels dead. Oh, this one's still. Get it. 
Oh, I do feel damage. We're getting some good shots on him. So it's as simple as that, but you're going to try and find this beacon thing. It has this new end block inside of it, which looks really sick. I can't pick it up, I don't think. Let's see. No, you can't pick it up. But, yeah, it's just this weird end looking thing. Once you go through it, so you can ender pearl, ender pearl into it. But you will get to these end cities, which look pretty amazing, if you ask me. I was sort of surprised at this this new block that they added. It's the there's the chorus plant and the chorus flower. I still don't know how to use them, but if we can be lucky, we might just be able to find an end city dungeon. Do some exploring. But look at this. It like goes so far away. It's crazy. Oh, found one. And this is what the end city dungeons look like. So what you can get from an end city dungeon. First of all, you get a dragon head. Where? This thing looks amazing. Second of all, you get the Elytra. You can put it on your back. You get tons of diamonds. You get amazing swords. Get some iron as well. There's tons of stuff in here. There's these things. Let's see what's in here. There's healing potion. These sitting these cities are like the best like you could find. If you find one of these, you're you literally like you hit the jackpot. You're like you'll never be like stuck again. It's like there's tons of chests, so let's see if I can find a chest somewhere. Right here, right here, right here. Let's see in here. But I just want to show you how good the loot is in these chests. Look, crazy stuff. Like, look at these. They're crazy. Like, they like, give you everything you need, pretty much. Like, you come to one of these NCT dungeons. Place these guys on walls. I guess they can, they can teleport. Well, didn't know any of that. I hope you all enjoyed this video for today. If you enjoyed, please leave a big thumbs up. And if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.